Alright, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Back to the Future the Game, Episode 5, Out of Time. Uh, let's see what this is. I think that's supposed to be a clock. Yeah, I can't tell what this is. Right, what do I do now? Alright. This guy must know where he is. Mr. Duto? Oui. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A uh, distracted look. That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were added into the house of glass. Great, thanks. Alright. House of glass, here I come. Hey! Emmett! Come out of there! Don't listen to him! Perfect. Okay, Emmett, let's get you out of here. Emmett! Emmett, don't listen to him! He, he's crazy! I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas glass. Unbreakable and soundproof. Soundproof glass. Great. Our living space can be configured to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall. You can tap on it. Emmett, get out of this place and back to your booth. You're gonna miss the demo. Come on, Emmett, look up here. Ah. Okay, hint. Ah, oh, great. Ah, oh, come on, why can't I run? And surely, banging on that window would make a lot of sound. Even inside. Uh, something's jamming. something's blocking it. That's what I just said. I need to close this, I think. I would like to see something. Oh. It won't slide open. Let's try this. You're in this now. Damn. It won't slide open. But the green one's This here. is more complicated than it looks. When I moved that first wall, I opened one passage, but I blocked another. Wait. Ah, 
it's upstairs, right. So let me off here. And out again. It stops, there's one that's blocking it, I think. Yeah, it must be this one. So close this again. And now I should be able to open that. There we go. red one so apparently Emmett's invention is a hazard to society and this isn't Take him now, Doc. The next exhibitor on our list is Officer Danny Parker of the Hill Valley Police Force. Officer Parker is going to demonstrate a few of the many marvelous tools that our boys in blue will soon have at their disposal. The criminal element has truly met his match today. Officer Parker? Uh, it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained, but I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, how about a round of applause just for the heck of it? Sea diver seems to know too much. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. Hey, just left about a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch that. Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinus hands. Hmm. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology. But I fail to understand what you're... Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done Stop! with them? Stop! Help! I'm being attacked! Sonny! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy is obviously uh, confusing. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jock Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's... Please keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Where'd you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. Professor Duteau, huh? At your service. Hmm. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Mm -hmm. 
Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathysphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Oh, give me a break. Kid. Where's Arthur? Come on, Artie. Artie Farty. Okay, where the hell is he? Where the hell is Arthur? McFly. Hey, Artie. What do you think? Quite a setup, huh? The expo? Sure. But I was wondering. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure, that's a pee ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm, there must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the bath tree. Mon Dieu, what is the matter? The gears, uh, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the bathysphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Come down, please. The bathysphere exhibit is currently closed for repairs. I'll wait. Hiya, folks. It's me, Techni, Muse of Progress, gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift could Hill Valley offer the world than this magnificent science and technology exhibit? Hey, folks? If you haven't done so already, I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at Furnishings of the Future. Right here in our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. What happened it to may Doctor? be quite some that, that time before Doctor. the exhibit is... Step back! You're cripping the hose! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathysphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. Hey! I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathysphere. I wish you wouldn't. Why not? There's nobody in the bathysphere, right? Okay. Emmett gets nowhere until you raise the bathysphere. Uh, Emmett? Who? Emmett, you! You ready to drop the act now, Jacques Duteau, a.k.a. Carl Sagan, a.k.a. No! I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathysphere. I wish you... Why not? You ready to drop the act now? No! You know what happens when the air runs out, to both of you. It's an old nautical superstition. A crimp horse needs imminent doom. It does if there's somebody inside the bathysphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathysphere. There's... not... Can't you see he's messing with us? There's nothing wrong with those gears. Monsieur Duteau is doing his best to fix the exhibit. Hovering over him like that doesn't help the situation any. I command you uncrim that hose! Funny. You'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathysphere. I... I don't know who, what you're talking about. 
It's as if you two were connected somehow. I've been staring and doing this for a long time. Yep. Step off the holes! Raise the bathysphere, Doc. I walk to it! Then neither will I. I'm not going anywhere. No, I guess you're not, but I can't wait here all day. I've got an expo to run. So for all the years that they have become unstuck. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. Get you out of there. Uh, Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. I <laughs> think he took his wallet. Oh, remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush, I never got the details. It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where'd he go? Do you know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, oh, I know how that is. Greetings and salutations to all our Ooh. honored guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress, and it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me. I'm next on the roster. But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great. Come on, let's get up there. And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are gold. Wish me luck. You don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown! Objection! Objection, Your Honor! I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of one Emmett Letra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity! I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father! Where is he? Hand him over this instant! Alright, so uh, everything that you just saw up to this moment was actually a re-recording. Um, so long story short, I was interrupted and I uh, decided to rip my mic out. Like you would because, um, yeah, otherwise you would hear a lot of background noise. And uh, it was in the middle of a cutscene, which I could not pause. Actually, I think I can pause it like this, but I'll know that for next time, you know, just like here. I should have known that, but either way, I I re-recorded, it corrupted the file, and uh, it re-recorded, and I just, I couldn't use it. <clears throat> you I, I don't think you I can shelter him. Um. Come on, Mr. Uh, Judge, sir, you're kind of making a scene here. Wrong. I am so, stopping my I, son I from making it. a scene here. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything... So he is up there with you! Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Thanks a um, lot. Son, I order you to come down from there this second! 
You dare to disobey a direct order? Um, I couldn't use it. I could still watch it, but I couldn't use the scroll bar. So I just recorded it from the start up to this moment because I know this is where the last save was. Um, so yeah, I lost like 10 minutes, but it's fine. Uh, let's do this quick because... I couldn't Damn record it. I'm not talking to him. Because, uh, There's no point. Because I ran out of space. Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He... Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. I'll be right back. Hey, Ventus! Emmett's not... Oh, God. I guess so. Uh... If I... I don't think... You can't... So... He says it's no use talking to you. He... That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can be to indulge it. Stay right there. I'm not good. I'm counting to four and... End it. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. You heard him. He said he'll listen to you. Well... At least give it a shot. Father? Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. Understand. You don't know what it's like Words to be young. To you don't know what it's You're like to have dreams, to have ambitions so great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. You. And it's all you can do to hang on for dear life while they've got a bond where they must. This is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Are you happy? Please, you gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. Emmett's just... Stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kinda... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake, those are traits that lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. Emmett? Here to play peacemaker. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit. He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Oh, skip it. You were starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Can it be that you and your dad? No. Next subject. Emmett, stop being a dope. You've got your pride. Okay, I, I get it. And so does he. But what's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. Okay, I'll talk to him. If he'll talk to me. All I'm saying, sir, is... Motion denied! See... <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of. Look, you're on... All the more I expect... Sure. Uh, sure it will. You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, and maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded his quota of mistakes. Emmett's just trying to... You, you gotta take chance. What do you know about take the language? There's only two... You? You bet your socks, me! How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa? He was fit to be tied. He called me a... Disobedient little... So your father didn't approve of you coming to America? Well, Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to... May I come up? So, 
You think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, yes I do. And I'm here to say, if any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Bob! You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne! You see, the force field generated by the static accumulator... Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. I could change her. Things could be different. Forget about it. Come on. We gotta find a way to stop her before. No, don't come any closer. Doc. Go away! But... Move! Move! Marty! Oh my god! Doc! Say something. Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium, ruthenium. Okay, I'll get help. Newspaper. What? You mean... I'm gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Yes. Oh, I think I am going to be okay, Marty. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. Doc, come back. Marty, have you been out here the whole time? Damn it. Um, is it over already? Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. And if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is going to play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder if we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! And this is where I stopped last time, but, uh... 
and you're you're not discouraged? Discouraged? By what? You mean what happened in there? Oh, that was a learning experience. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry, is something wrong? It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh, I lost somebody. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? It was, uh, Carl Sagan. What? The guy who tried to hire me in there? You were friends with him? Strange. But how? Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here. But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Please, Emmett, don't ask What's any- What's this? Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. Okay, here goes. What's that? An explanation. But you've got to promise me, don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Emmett! Just promise. Emmett, where are you, my son? I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to uh, something. Just, just say you promise. Okay, I promise. Wait, I will see you again, right? I guarantee it. Damn it! The same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. How was the ceremony? Long. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. Only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? I came to rescue you. Teenage me? No, you, you. But then teenage you got mixed up in it. See, you were in jail and... Never mind, it's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies. Me? Nah, no. Well, I'm still a little confused about my... Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. You see my Artie anywhere? Artie McFly? That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? Hitched? Married. I swear, that boy's gonna put his pop on his own grave. So that's how she got her job back. Ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I, I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. Holy crap, uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. 
You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of- That car! Oh, great. How the hell did she get back here? She? You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Well... Wait, Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it. It made a loud noise, and then wham! Nothing! Great Scott! Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... Uh-oh. Well, crap. Doc? Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. How? Something must have happened to it. A long time ago. Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, it's, uh, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. Uh... Where exactly are we? We're a little lost. For this point of my rounds, that's where you are. About 25 miles outside of Hayesville. Take a wrong turn, did you? In a matter of speaking. Tell us. We're looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it? A hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just as I suspected. When did Hill Valley go away? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then whatever it was must have happened at least 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who can tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Could you help us with her? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be kicking myself for sending you up there. Can I drive? <laughs> Question of every teenager. Oh, come on, please. Mary Pickford.
Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.